So does your head move in the backswing? And if so, how, how much should it move? And what type of pivot player are you? All those questions will be answered in today's video. Okay, so today I'm gonna to go over how you should pivot in your swing and how much should your head move in the back swing and thus on the transition in the forward swing. And I gotta give a shout out to Mike Adams. Um, I highly suggest you follow him on social media and all the work that he does. He's done a lot of things. They have a new bow dynamics uh, series that, that you can check out. He's, a, he's been teacher of the year. He's taught a number or had a number of apprentices who were teacher of the year and I got this from him and I found it extremely useful in using it with all of my students. So in order to determine what type of pivot you have, it's a very, very simple test and all you need is a golf club or a stick or a broom handle or whatever you have laying around your house or your office or out the golf course. So you're gonna take your setup position to any golf ball or if you don't even, have, you don't even need a golf ball, you're just gonna take your stance, take your posture and you're gonna grab your club with two hands and you're gonna put it right on top of your thighs. Okay, and then you're gonna hold it there and what you're gonna do is you're gonna make a full backswing pivot. Okay, now there are, have been identified as three types of peop, uh, uh, pivots. One is similar to the Bryson DeChambeau model where he keeps his head very simple, but he is referred to as a front pivot player where when he does this exercise, you can see where most of the pressure or that is pushing down appears to be on my front leg. That's a front post pivot. It's a front leg of the body. You have what Tiger Woods be, would be determined or classified as a center post pivot. So it looks very equal, looks very neutral in that Tiger is turning around his spine. And then you have players uh, like a Gary Woodland or a Rocco Mediate that when they do this, they have a shift into their trail leg, which would be a, a rear post pivot. Okay, so that's a very simple test. Club, put it right across your thighs in your golf stance. I just happen to be a center pivot. When I turn, make my back swing, my head doesn't really move. I rotate around my spine, all right? Front post pivot would be someone that did their turn and they would look like they have all their pressure on their front leg and the rear post pivot would be someone that rotated into their trail leg. It'd be very obvious. So if you don't have anybody to look at you while you do this, you can do it in front of a mirror, keep your head down. Once you make your pivot, then look into the mirror and you can see where your pressure is positioned and it'll be fairly easy to determine. Now, how your head moves with all those different pivots uh, is going to vary as well. If you are a lead foot pivot, it's going to look like your head almost falls towards the target in somewhat of a reverse pivot motion, which would be very prevalent or common in the stack and tilt system. Uh, if you're going to have a center post pivot, your head is not gonna look like it moves at all. It's gonna look like it stays fairly centered as you're rotating around your spine. And for those that work into the trail leg or a rear post pivot, it's, you're going to look like your head moves off the ball more to the right and inside or over top of your right leg. So the head will appear to move in the golf swing, but it, that movement is based off the type of pivot you have, and that type of pivot is based off of your physiology, your biomechanics, and how you are predestined to move. So I hope that helps give you some insight. Again, it's a very simple test. Do it in front of a playing partner of yours or do it in front of a mirror, and you, once you do it, look in front of the mirror, and you'll be easily, or it'll be very easily identify which of the three you are. Swing the way you're built and your game will go to a whole new level. Hey everybody, thank you for watching another one of our videos. We hope you picked up something that's beneficial to your game. If you tried what we just gave you today, love to hear about it. Post it in the comments below. Don't forget to click subscribe. We'd love to have you as a follower. You can also hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter under the Golf Paradigm. And don't forget to follow the hottest podcast in golf, our podcast called Golf 360. If you'd like to subscribe or watch some more of our videos, you can do so, right? over here.